Hey guys and welcome back to Schneids 15. Today we got an 07 XRS Skidoo in here. Uh, doesn't matter about that. Uh, this will work for your 800s, 600s, all the older style sleds. Um, I'm just going to go over this quick. How to check your rave valves to make sure that they're performing correctly. This isn't a cleaning video, um, not a disassembly video. I'm just going to show you how to check them in the sled to make sure that they're performing properly. Um, you don't need really any tools for this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use a vacuum pump on them, but uh, you don't have to do that. Anyways, um, what happens, these things will carbon up. Uh, and they won't work. They'll get stuck open, stuck shut. They st get stuck shut, you're gonna lose performance. They get stuck open, you're gonna lose your bottom end. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you quick how to pull them apart. You don't need to pull apart any gaskets or anything just to properly check the function of them. Uh, one thing before I start, uh, an oil is a big thing to check on these things. Uh, if you run crappy oils in these things, they're gonna clog up. Uh, personally, no advertisement here. I've run this Shell Advanced Ultra, Snow Ultra. This is a, the synthetic synthetic stuff. Um, I ran that in my last sled. I had no five of one of these. Bought it with 3,000K, drove it till 17,000K. Never had a rebuild, never had an issue with a rave valve clogging up ever. Never had to pull them out. Sometimes there's guys that have to pull them out every year. So that's why I think big thing is in your driving style but mostly your oil uh, so let's get to pulling this thing apart so we'll wing open our side panel here uh, I'll open up my hood for some more light and uh, we'll show you what to do so obviously here we got our the front of our motor and there's our rave valves let me grab a light and we'll get to the process all right guys, so I got a light for you. Um, if you got a triple, whatever, there's gonna be three of them obviously. If you got a twin, there's gonna be two of them. Every slide's gonna be a little bit different, but the rave valve uh, principle is the same. So what we're gonna do, uh, take your 5 16 uh, wrench, nut driver, socket, whatever you want. Loosen those bolts. Uh, we're not touching these Allen heads at all in here guys, so just loosen them and uh, get them pulled off. Once you have them both loosened, you're gonna pull this off gently. Uh, there's gonna be a spring under there, as you can see right here. That's all, pull that off. And behind here, you're just, uh, you're, uh, just a cap. They, uh, they go on, well this is the way that mine was on with this flat part down here. Uh. So now that we have it off, we can test it. Uh, so you just wanna, the whole point of this video is just to make sure that it's moving freely. So all you can do is you can grab this. There should be some resistance there because of uh, vacuum, but uh, you can pull that off. There you go. You can see that it's moving. Very, free, very freely, it's not stuck, it slides very nice when you pull on it. You can see that there's, uh, um, that it's sucking back in nicely and slides very free. That's what you want. So our next step guys, if you have a vacuum gauge, you can pull this line off at the T. I've already done it off camera. And you can stick your vacuum pump in there and you can vacuum on it. So I just pressurized it a bit. Obviously you can see I cannot, I've just squeezed this trigger a bit, um, pumped it up a bit of vacuum. I cannot pull that out now because uh, this diaphragm in here that's underneath this cup, there's a green diaphragm. Uh, if there was a hole in this, it would cause your rave to not function properly either. So if uh, you vacuum test it a bit here, you can tell there's no hole in it, it's not leaking. So you know that's working fine. I can release my vacuum pressure now. Right there, I released it. And now I'm gonna pull my line off. 
Now I can pull on here freely. I can pull it up and down. What you can also do, and take your mouse. <laughs> There's just a way to do it. I always do my videos, guys, with that. Um, if you have no tools to do all my videos on limited tools, because I know everybody's not a shop that has tools. So uh, you can take your mouse, go on the end of here. I'll do it beside the camera. Uh, you can blow on it and uh, see if that diaphragm comes out. So there we go. You can see that it came out when I blew on there. I got my finger on the end of this line right now. If I let off on here, um, this valve should come back in. Anyways, you can see that it's working quite fine. Um, it won't want to spring back in all the time, uh, but as long as it's moving freely like that and you can blow on it, there's no leak and uh, you can put vacuum on it and there's no leak. Your ray valve should be functioning fine. There is no reason to remove this unless you suspect there is carbon buildup. I know there's not because I just had the Y pipe off this motor and I could see them. Uh, but if you want, um, or if you're having issues with it, that this is not sliding correctly um, and it's uh, stuck, then you can take your Allen key and you can dive into this. But the whole point of this video is uh, just to check them without pulling any gaskets apart or anything, just to do a yearly inspection. This is all I do to mine, just to make sure that they're properly functioning and uh, we're good to go. So obviously, uh, to finish off the video, you can throw your spring on, slide, make sure it slides into the rubber, the rubber cup in there, slide it over that tit, then you can put it flat on there. Oops, my bad. I thought this was the thread it's bought here. <laughs> uh -huh. There we go. Get it lined up, thread your bolts back on. Uh, I personally just snug them up and we are finished guys. All right guys, I hope this video helps you uh, check the rave valves on a Skidoo snowmobile. Uh, it's a very simple procedure and as you can see, you don't have to pull apart any gaskets or anything. That's why I like doing it this way and I thought I would share it with you guys. Hope it helps and uh, Shoot me a comment if uh, you have any questions, and as always, give the channel a like, or the video a like. Give the channel a subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to be uh, updated on more of my videos. Thanks, guys. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.